X-ray diffraction is an analytical characterization technique employed to identify crystal line phases that may present in the material. It also provides information on structural properties such as defect structures, epitaxy, grain size, and different phases. The powder X-ray diffractometer we have in MSSI department is made by Panalytical. The model is Empyrean Series 2. X-ray is generated by an X-ray source of voltage varying from 10 kV to 40 kV. The primary X-ray hits the lead screen to filter off the scattered rays and to concentrate the X-ray beam. The concentrated X-ray beam then hits the crystalline solid which scatters the X-ray to a specific pattern correlating to the crystalline structure. The detector then collects the scattered pattern on a photographic plate. The incident X-ray reflects on different planes when it strikes lattice of atoms. The incident X-ray that strikes the second array of lattice has to travel X-ray distance. And the diffracted ray has to travel extra distance again when it comes out of the plane. The observer sees the superposition of the, all the waves coming out. Let's assume the lattice is separated by distance d and the incident x-ray angle is theta. The extra path x-ray has to travel on the second array of lattice is d times sine theta. Since it has to come back out again, the extra path difference is actually 2 times d times sine theta. Constructive interference is obtained when the Bragg's law is satisfied. n times lambda equals to d times sine theta, where lambda is the x-ray wavelength. Now, let's look at the sample preparation. The sample we use here is L-glutamic acid. The powder is quite fine, so no milling is needed. For front-loading powder mount, we need standard sample holder, monocrystalline silicon zero background, a spatula, metal base, and a clip. First of all, put the zero background to the sample holder, the back of the zero background facing upwards. Then put the base on the back of the zero background. Finally, a clip is pushed in to hold them together. Use the spatula to take out the sample powder and flatten it on the front of the silicon background. The sample specimen is then put on the sample holder. Press the unlock button. Only opens the door when the light flashes green. Put the sample holder on its seat. Here we have the X-ray sauce, the sample platform and the detector. To begin the measurement, the beam current is adjusted to 40 mA. Different marrying programs can be set up in absolute scan. The start angle, end angle, step size, time per step, scan speed, etc. can be optimized to achieve best results. Generally, smaller step size and longer scanning time gives better results. The sample arm takes the sample from the sample holder and puts it on the platform. The detector then lowers itself down to the start angle to start the measurement. Instead of changing the incident X-ray angle, the detector's angle is changed to collect the reflected X-ray at different diffracted angles. 
The data is being collected by the detector, and the signature peaks start to show. The detector falls to the starting angle and quickly moves away again for the arm to take off the sample from the platform. Love Science, Love Nano, please visit www.ifnano.com.